Your host Habibs, it's Oz. Today I'm going to be talking to you about another personal issue. This time I'm going to be talking about how I got ghosted. Yeah. So awesome. This video is brought to you by all my Patreon supporters. Go Team Awesome! Alright, so before I get into the story, I just want to talk to you about two things that are important to know before you hear my story. First of all, the word ghost, being ghosted, what does that mean? It's not a reference to dying or seeing a ghost. Being ghosted um, in today's vernacular or slang, whatever you want to call it, it means that uh, somebody on social media blocks you, um, ignores you, stops contacting you, and completely cuts you out of their life. The second thing you need to know is a video I made. Um, I made it about a couple of months ago. It was a story about my worst Tinder date. It was a story about um, how I went on this date with this really terrible gold digger type of woman. And uh, basically I was complaining about my social life and my dating life. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a card up there, so check it out. The story I'm gonna tell you today roots from that video. In that video, in the comment section, there was a girl, I'm not gonna say her name in this video, she's like, hey, if you wanna go with me, I'll go with you, and uh, you won't have to pay for me. And then I wasn't sure if that's like a joke or whatever, so I just kind of replied like with, haha, if you, as long as you say thank you, I'll pay for you, but I paid for this girl in my other Tinder thing, but basically she didn't say thank you or she wasn't appreciative at all, and she was kind of a bitch. She replied back saying, oh wow, I didn't think you'd actually reply to me, that's cool, I totally wanna like, connect with you. How do I do that? I, I went to her channel, but it was she doesn't have any channel. She doesn't have any subscribers. She doesn't have any like way to message or anything. So I left a comment on my comment of her comment in my video, saying, "Well, if you want to um, get in contact with me for real, you can just send me a direct message on Instagram." So I kind of put the ball in her court. So if she really wasn't joking and she actually really wanted to meet me and wanted to hang out or whatever, um, she could just direct message me. Um, and then she said, cool, I'll, I sent you a message. Um, she did send me a direct message on Instagram. So we started on Instagram, and I'll show you some screenshots. So she said, hey, I saw you on YouTube, and I was like, hello. And she's like, I don't know what to say. And I said, oh, you said you, you were the nice girl on the YouTube comment section. And she's like, wow, I never thought you'd respond. And I said, oh, do you live in Japan? And I said, I always respond to comments. And she said, I do, but not in Tokyo, but I come to Tokyo every month. And she said, I think you're pretty entertaining. So I said, cool, are you Japanese? And um, she said, well, this is where I live, this is the closest station. And she said, I'm not Japanese, uh, so I won't look younger than my age. Um, and she said, I use a filter, sorry. Kind of saying that her pictures on her Instagram are not a 100% representation of her. But I was like, haha, whatever, I said, what, you look so young, what country are you from, are you a student? And then once again she said, oh I use a filter, that's why I look young, I'm not a student. Um, let's, she said, let's, maybe we can do a video call so you can see the real me beforehand. Making meaning, oh, hey Kaide, are you getting jealous? I'm talking about another girl, are you jealous? So she said she wants to video call, I said, okay, that's cool, and then I was talking to her about her name. And then she's like, I have a, I can't call you right now because I have a mask on. So I guess she meant like one of those like, <laughs> like masks, like the face masks that girls wear for their skin. Well, Kaide is really enjoying my skin. Do you like elbows, Kaide? So the first thing I wanted to point out about this is that I gave her, I put the ball in her court and I gave her the option of if she wants to contact me. So she went out of her way to contact me. And then we had a good conversation on Instagram. And then, once again, I didn't say, uh, I didn't talk about meeting up or I didn't talk about talking or anything. She's the one that mentioned that, hey, we should like video chat or whatever. She also said, I'm going to Tokyo around a certain day and do you want to go eat? So she invited me to go out to eat. And I said, yeah, I love to eat. And she's like, do you like spicy foods? And I said, yes. And then I said, oh, are you from Thailand? Because she wouldn't answer the question if she was Japanese or not. And not that it really matters, but I just kind of wanted to know like, what country she's from. And then finally she said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm Filipino. From Philippines, is that okay? Meaning she wasn't maybe proud or she thought I wouldn't be excited or happy about her being from Philippines, I don't know why. But yeah, I, I have no problem with Philippines. I said, yeah, of course. Um, um, I just thought you were asking for spicy food so you might be Thai, but um, I have Filipino friends in Canada. So I made it obvious that I'm not worried about what country she's from. I don't really care. 
And she's like, do you want to come try this special spicy ramen with me? I said, sure. Uh, and then we were like, look, thinking about days. And then we were talking about, oh, this month, this weekend is bad for me, that weekend is bad for me. So we'd already gone into the planning phase. So we were deciding when we'd actually meet up. And then she's like, I'm going to be in Osaka for this week. And then how about the 25th? So this was her day. She decided, hey, how about the 25th? And I said, okay, 25th is good. And then she said, great, that works. 25th. 1 p.m. onwards and I said cool and I'll pay for the food you pay for dessert as a joke because that's a, like an inside joke of my um, video if you watch my Tinder, Tinder video you'll know what I'm talking about so I, she, and she said tanoshimi tanoshimi in Japanese means I'm looking forward to it I'm excited to meet you so we'd already planned the day we just kind planned where the location and what we're gonna do also she was like okay also um, I since I do use a filter I want to do like a video call with you with you so you can see my real face and then you can decide after that if you still want to meet me as if like I'm gonna judge her so strongly on her looks like I'm like that much of an asshole and I like I, I told her like no as long as you are not a ghost I'm sure I'll be okay oh my god like I actually predicted my own problem I said as long as you're not a ghost and she actually became a ghost because she ghosted me wow okay so that was like what's that called like fortune telling no it's like foretelling, uh, prophesizing, there's another word, something like that. If you know what, let me know in the comment section, I can't remember. Um, and then I asked her her job and she said I'm a cook. Uh, she was talking about her job and she was talking about her Japanese sucks and she's asking me, she's like, can you like help me? She was talking about her hobbies and she likes to watch YouTube and um, she doesn't study Japanese so much even though she should. And uh, basically, she was asking me advice on studying Japanese, and wow, Kaide, are you really, you're really excited today? You want to be in camera? Usually, you avoid camera. Did you want to say hi to YouTube? Kaide, did you want to say hi to YouTube? Then she was like saying, "Oh, I hope you can help me uh, learn Japanese." And then we were talking about hobbies, and we said karaoke, and she said she liked karaoke, and I do too. So yeah, cool, we should go. She, yeah, she said, I'm elementary level, so can you help me pass the N4? Uh, so I said, sure, I will try. How about on 25th, we get food, practice some Japanese in a cafe, and maybe even sing some karaoke. And then the next day, she said, you know what? I'm really glad I have time to lose some weight before we meet. If I didn't have a mask on, I would have liked to vid call. And then she said, so I guess she likes wearing masks a lot, um, which is like another foretelling <laughs> or prophesizing. Uh, her hiding her true self I guess but anyway so the conversation went really well and I wasn't like being a creepy guy saying hey I want to meet you or send me pictures or like how big are your boobs or anything like that I was just asking typical questions like just having a regular conversation and and even though I was having a regular conversation wah, even though I was having a regular conversation she was the one that was like kept saying stuff like I have to lose weight before I meet you and uh, I'm so excited to meet you and can you please help me with this and that and then she talked to, then she started talking about how she works a lot and she has really long shifts like more than 15 hours and stuff like that Whoa. and then she okay this was her last message she said hey can we video call tomorrow before we sleep at night maybe and she's like, okay I'll go to sleep and then I emailed her the next day say hey how was your day? I said, yeah, if you want to talk tonight, let me know around what time and then I'll give you a call. And then she read that, but she didn't reply. And I waited like five days. So I, was like, so I waited like five or six days. Then she said, then she never replied. So I was like, hi, how are you doing? You must be busy. Hope you're okay. So I didn't say like, what the fuck? Why didn't you video call or anything? So I just left it. Then I waited another seven days, so like an entire week. And I was like, hey, I haven't received any replies. So I'm guessing you're too busy or not interested. Um, I was just wondering if we are still meeting on the 25th because we had made plans for the 25th but we were just deciding on the restaurant but once again that email wasn't read and then I waited another five days and I'm like okay this is my last message to you I don't know what happened and why you stopped replying and anyway good luck with life I made plans to meet my friend Brian instead on the 25th and once again she didn't read that either I don't know what happened to her I don't think I scared her off in any way or she met somebody else some other guy and then she started dating him and then she didn't want to like meet me anyway and after that or she's like literally died and became a ghost or she maybe went back to the Philippines she got deported or something happened with her family and she had to go back I'm not angry or sad or anything if anything I'm worried because 
I hope you're okay. I hope you didn't actually like get hurt or get sick or like something serious happened to you, like an accident or something. So if you're watching this video and this is you, um, please, at least in the comment section, just say I'm alive or something. So I know that you're not dead. I didn't do anything this time. I didn't make the first move. I didn't make plans. She was the well, first person to contact me. She was the first person to like ask me to meet on a date. She's the one that decided the date and the thing that we would do. She's the one that wanted the video call. So I don't understand why she didn't reply to me, why she didn't contact me, why she just disappeared. The worst thing is it was on my video complaining about how I, I, I can't find like a nice good girl to date and I, I didn't even make it sound like I wanted to date her because I don't know who she is I've never met her so I was okay with just a friendly meeting because I meet a lot of people from YouTube I just met like two three different people who are my viewers from different countries who met me last month um, when while they were in Tokyo I wasn't expecting this to be like our first date or I wasn't expecting her to put out or anything like so I was really really confused of why I got ghosted and when people get ghosted it sucks it sucks being ghosted if you've never been ghosted be thankful ghosting is saying you're so unimportant and you're so useless they don't even like respect you enough to tell you to your face or even hint that they're not interested in you they just completely cut you off by blocking or just not replying or just being completely like silent and cutting people off and ghosting them you don't even know if that person is angry or sad or offended or bored or just something happened to them like like I said medically had an accident or they died or they left the country like it just leaves it so open that it's kind of not fair to anybody and I feel that I think that's my biggest pet peeve I feel like ghosting somebody is the worst thing you can do I rather have somebody hate on me or make a hate video about me I told this story not so once again so you guys could feel sorry for me and go poor Oz although in my last video where I said I'm lonely, I'd like to thank all of you guys because there was like, what, like over 70 comments or whatever of all of you guys and a lot of the comments were not just a couple sentences like they always are, they were like entire paragraphs or essays about how, how much support that you guys have for me or talking about your own lives or talking about just lives in general, advice in general. So I want to say thank you for all those people because I probably replied to as many as I could but not as long. and. I just wanted to say it really meant a lot to me and I was really happy to read them. Actually, the reason I made this video is I'm hoping the girl who watched my other video will watch this video and maybe she'll either reply with an excuse or reason. The reason I made this video is not only for her but I made it for you guys because I want to know if based on what I told you this story, I know it's only one sided because you can't hear her side, but do you see any reason in this entire story that I told you that would make her, if you were her, make her want to ghost me or stop replying to me or ignoring me. Is there anything I said that might have been offensive or something that might have been like crossing a line or something? Because I, I really don't know what I, what I did to be ghosted. Yeah, so that's my story of being ghosted in uh, Japan. Not by a Japanese girl, by a Filipino girl. Have you ever been ghosted and how did you deal with it and what did you find out why you got ghosted and have you ever ghosted anyone and why? Anyway, that's about it I guess for this video. I just wanted to say thanks for watching this far. It's a pretty long video I know. Um, just thumbs up if you like it. Please share this video. Even check out my Patreon page if you are more willing to be a Patreon supporter or anyone else you know who would be interested in watching my videos, please let them know about it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because my videos are awesome. Ozzy awesome. Take care, I hope, don't ghost me, and see you next time. Peace.